Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. The topic that we are going to look today is Chain Rule. So, what is Chain Rule? Chain Rule, in case of Chain Rule, the sums that you are going to deal with is going to be between the relationship between the two items that they have provided. So, in, in the concept of Chain Rule, two concepts are very important, which is nothing but direct proportion and indirect proportion. So, what is direct proportion? Let's say you are going to shop. You are going to get a lot of items on it. So, if the number of items increases obviously your cost is going to increase so that is what direct proportion is so the relationship between the item is like so one increases another thing also increases let's say the number of items decreases then the cost that you are going to pay is also decreases so in, it is applicable for both increase and decrease here they proportionally increase here so in case of indirect proportion so indirect proportion is nothing but let's say you are taking a car to a place so, if the speed of the car increases, time taken for you to reach the place will definitely decrease. So, this is indirect proportion. If a one quantity increases, then the another one decreases. Let's say your, the speed that you are going is very low, then the time consumed for you to reach that place will increase here. So, this is indirect proportion. So, let's just solve a couple of sums to understand the direct and indirect proportions better. So, the question that they have given is, if 10 toys cost rupees 250, what does 20 toys cost? So, from the question you know that initially they have given 10 toys and it's costing 250 rupees. So, they are asking for 20 toys. As we discussed earlier, if the number of toys that you are going to get is going to be more, obviously the cost is going to be more. So, the number of toys increases, your cost will also be increased. This is nothing but your direct proportion. So, how are we going to find it? 10 toys, 250 rupees. 20 toys, x. So, as usual, we cross multiply it. 10 into x is equal to 250 into 20, which is nothing but x is equal to 500. So, the cost of 20 toys is nothing but 500 here. So, what concept we understood here? It's nothing but direct proportion. Here, the toys that they have given is more. So, the cost is also more. So, in, to, in order to confuse you, in, in case of the option, they would have given a lot of value which are less. So, but if you understand the concept of direct proportion, you will always know it will be definitely more than 250. So, let's solve another sum. So, the next question they have given is, if 30 men can do a piece of work in 20 hours, in how many hours will 50 men do it? So, the question that they have given is, 30 men can do a piece of work in 20 hours. So, the question that they have asked is, how much time will it take for 50 men to do it? So, understand the concept here. If the number of men increases, time taken to finish the particular work will decrease. So, if the number of men increases, time taken will decrease. What is this concept? It is nothing but indirect proportion. So, how do we solve it here? So, 30 men, it is an indirect proportion. So, we are taking reciprocal of it can solve it in 20 hours, then how many hours will it take for 50 men to do it? So, the question mark is nothing but 1 by x. So, just cross multiply it. 30 into 1 by x is equal to 50 into 1 by 20. Sixty five x and x is equal to 12. So, for 50 men, it is going to take 12 hours. So, if you see the concept, 30 men is going to take 20 hours. So, for 50 men, it is 12 hours. You can see the variation here. Here, the men increased, but the time taken to it has decreased. So, in the first part of the chain rule, we discussed on the basic concepts of direct proportion and indirect proportion, and we solved two basic sums. In the upcoming videos, we will be discussing on the tougher problems that falls under the chain rule and simple tricks to solve them very easily. So, if you are a person who is looking for a job, kindly register in our freshersworld.com. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. <music>